Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. Um, I probably look worse than I ever have because I feel worse than I ever have. Um, I know a lot of people hate when I say, oh, I'm going through something, but I don't want to talk about it. I just want you guys to know that's why I haven't been uploading. We recently got bad news um it's not really something that we want to talk about if ever um and it's like two really bad things happened i know a lot of people are gonna throw assumptions and stuff um best thing i can say it has nothing to do with becky's family because i feel like that's the first thing since that's something that's been really going on lately nothing to do with becky's family but yesterday I filmed like a little video showing what I ate in a day and yesterday I actually didn't really eat that much at all so I'm actually going to show you guys that clip after this. I just I've gotten a lot of messages of people saying I miss you I miss you come back to YouTube and I feel obligated to continue posting obviously not daily but I just want you guys to know that there are going to be days where I don't post because I do need that mental break. I am emotionally and just like physically exhausted i am so emotionally exhausted that it's like physically i'm feeling it physically if that makes sense so anyways here is what i filmed yesterday so i have some this is supposed to be fried dumplings but to me they never really seem fried which i don't mind and then we have some like sauce i don't really know what it is but i think there's some green onion in there this looks honestly so good so yes i'm eating in my room and um if i look like i've been crying it's because i have i don't really want to get into it but i got some very bad news today so let's not talk about that take my mind off of it with some dumplings so Twinkie's drinking water right now, so if you hear that. Alright, let's take a bite. Mmm. This is really good. Oh my god. I feel like dumplings from, like, Chinese restaurants, they aren't always the best. But, Wow. I also got something else which this is one of my most favorite things came with white rice <laughs> not complaining I usually eat this in two separate meals so when I get this I'll eat it in two separate meals. This is Singapore rice noodle. I'll show you guys like a close up. But did this not come with a fork? No, it did not. So I wanted to show you guys up close what it looks like. So when I get this, I actually do not eat the pork or the chicken out of it because that's just my... A little opinion here is that I don't like it too much but I do eat the shrimp so I take out all the chicken and like these little beef situations or pork they're pork I don't know why I'm saying beef I'm so annoying usually I would ask for you know just shrimp or maybe just a vegetable one but they actually do not have that option which is really shocking because I tried asking one time but that's okay um I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what's in here besides the obvious. Like, I don't know the seasonings. It kind of tastes a little curry, but there is egg, there is some spices for sure, because there's a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick. Obviously, onion, there's some, like, carrot slices. It's so freaking good. And obviously, the three meats, shrimp, pork, and chicken. 
So Twinkie's like, can I have some? <laughs> no, baby love. And then white rice, everyone knows what that looks like. Okay, so we got a fork. So I haven't picked out the meat yet, so I'm just gonna eat around it. You guys, this is honestly so good. And it's like, I handle spice really well. So I personally didn't even notice that it was like spicy. But last time I had this, I had Eric take a bite and he goes, oh my God, I can tell why you like it because it's kind of spicy. And I was like, is it though? And now like, oh yeah, I guess it kind of is. <sighs> mm. Nikocado Avocado did a um, eating like Amberlynn Reed video and he texted me and wanted to know like, the unhealthy foods that I like. So I listed off a bunch of stuff for him. And this was one of the things. And he was like super excited for it. And I was like, I just get it at the Chinese restaurant. And so he was like, oh yeah, blah, blah. he couldn't get it though. And I was like really sad because I was like, this is like one of my favorite things. Mm. A little shrimpy. So. I'm gonna eat this. Last night, I watched the new American Horror Story episode. I loved it. It was so freaking good. I'm having a Sprite Zero, which they now call Sprite Zero Sugar. <laughs> um, it was amazing. It was so good. Becky hasn't yet seen it, so she's about to watch it right now. And yeah, so that's what we're doing. I'm gonna be honest, this is the only video I wanted to film today only because like I just feel so like defeated and distraught and like emotionally exhausted and I have gotten so many messages on Instagram and Snapchat just saying, we miss your content, we miss your videos, when are you gonna upload again? And so I just, I'm making this video for the people who want to see me. This is a bad angle so I do apologize but anyways so this is my next meal but i do want to say i actually did not finish the singapore rice noodle i ate about half of it i did finish the dumplings though those were really really good and later on that night i decided to have something sweet so these are white grapes or at least that's what they're called and these are the ones that taste like cotton candy if you guys have ever heard of those you know what i'm saying these are so freaking good, and if you haven't heard of them, you need them. So I put them in the freezer. So those are frozen grapes, and when you freeze these grapes, literally tastes like candy. Literally tastes like candy. It is so freaking good. And I got some Cheerios. This is Cheerio and Oat cereal. It is so good. I love it a lot. And we have some milk. I did add too much milk. That was a slip up. That was an accident. But um, I did finish all the milk. I did finish all the cereal. And I had a few grapes left over. So this was actually my last meal of the day. Like I said, in my opinion and how I normally eat, this was not a lot of food. Not a lot of food at all. Hey guys. So it is the next day and I figured I'll do another comment of the day. I do like doing these. So we have almost 3,000 comments. So I'm gonna let it load. Oh, and I think what I'm gonna start saying is the video title of where I'm reading it from, which it's always the last video that I uploaded, but this one is called Being Friends With My Ex. So randomly pick winner. So this is actually a reply to someone. So I don't think I want to read those because it's not like directed towards me and that's what I'm looking for. Um, have you considered losing some weight? That is a silly question. So I guess the question really isn't silly to someone who might be new to my channel. So if you are new to my channel, hello. My name is Amber Lynn. My highest weight, 572.4. Disgusting, horrid. Um, at 16 years old, I was 420 pounds. One point in my life when I was about 21, 22, I got down to 331. I thought I was living the life. 
Then I went through a little bit of traumatizing changes. Like I found I had gallstones. I thought it was like the end of the world. Then me and my girlfriend broke up. And then I got with another girl and I was like free on my own. Long story short, I had another heartbreak. I got super depressed and then I reached 572.4. Disgusting, horrible. And yes, I have considered losing weight. That's something that is on my mind 24 seven. It's something I struggle with and I've actually been trying really hard to take away my binge eating. It's a struggle for people who binge eat. I know you understand it is rough. I also have a food addiction, which is also very hard to handle, especially mix when you have a binge eating disorder or even if you don't have a disorder, just the fact that you binge, cause I do binge, but I haven't in it's been, I want to say about a week now. Um, I am going through a lot at the moment and I'm trying to just keep like a positive mind frame and stuff like that. And I did weigh in yesterday. I did not film it. And I actually lost like, I think it was a good eight pounds, six to eight pounds since I last weighed in for you guys. So I was very happy to see that and very proud. Taking away the junk and not binging really freaking helps. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.